Hi there, I'm Victoria Sharp, one of the directors of MJB Avanti. My colleague Emma Louise Jones is going to provide you with some business networking tips. My co-director Steve Foster is going to provide you with some advice about moving forward. And I'm just going to take a few minutes here at this virtual business summit to give you a COVID-19 roundup and current advice. First of all, it's about giving them the right advice, the accurate advice and up to date. It's about then looking at their business. And for example, with employees, it's can we introduce the furlough schemes, help them get some money back for wages so they can still pay their staff. It's then if I need to apply for a loan or a grant, what information can we give them from their accounts to allow them to do that easily? In terms of what the government brought in, and they had to bring in things overnight pretty quickly, so I don't think they've done too bad a job, but one of the first loans that they actually brought in was the Business Interruption Loan Scheme, which at first glance was great. People got quite excited in terms of there's a little bit of support there for us. We're going to get some money to help us with the business. But what suddenly started happening, and we noticed there's a lot of our clients in particular just were not allowed to have that loan. The banks were refusing it because the government were only backing it by 80%. So on the 4th of May, they introduced the bounce back loan scheme. This is where the government are backing it 100%. And it's anything between 2,000 and 50,000, but it's up to 25% of your turnover as at December 19. And because it's 100% backed by the government, there's no personal guarantees. With VAT, again, this is all about cash flow. This is about right now, businesses that don't have either the same amount of income or any income at all if they've had to completely close. So this is where they've deferred the VAT payment. What's been really important, though, is yes, the payment's been deferred, but two things. One, you have to think that you're going to have to pay that at some point. So you have to consider that. But also, you still have to get the returns in on time. So even though the payment's been deferred, We've still had to make sure VAT returns are completed on time and submitted. Otherwise, there could be fines in that respect. So that's really important for our clients to know that you've still got to do the work. you just the payment that's been deferred. If you need more help, give us a call or you can go onto our website. There's links on there with all the updates. You can call us and arrange a meeting and we can give you all of the advice you need. from MJB Avanti and I'll be talking about networking both virtually and in the physical world when we can get back to it and how to prepare for your 60 seconds that's your opportunity to tell members and attendees who you are what you do where you're from and what you're looking for I think people try to cram everything into 60 seconds so they try and tell you who they are what they do what they've done, how they came to be there and where they want to go. Really what you need to do is is focus in on an area that you want to develop. So you want to drill down into the specifics and around that you form your 60 seconds. I think make sure it shows the human side of you and your business and that it reflects your passion for your business. The most important thing with a virtual meeting is to remember that it is exactly the same as a physical meeting you're just the other side of a screen you know just because those people aren't sat in the room with you doesn't mean you should treat it any differently so it should still be attacked with the same professionalism that you would give a meeting if you were attending it you know you make sure that you are giving your time and your attention to the screen that you are checking in with the people who are listening to you and you make sure you're giving it back you respect the time constraints and all of the things that you normally would in the meeting when you're there with people but understand that it's done virtually When you wrap up your 60 seconds, you want to make it as concise as the content was. So that midsection, when you're talking about what you do and what you're looking for, that leads into your final bit, which is your call to action. And that is how can the members in that room, whether it's virtual or physical, can help you. So, you know, if you're looking for someone who can help you with a branding issue, if you're looking for your ideal client, whether that's someone who specializes in an area or someone who can bring something to you, those are the things that you need to be asking for. That's always going to be what sets you apart from your competition. And that's what you need to get across in your 60 seconds. Hello, I'm Steve Foster. I'm a director with MJB Avanti. I'm very pleased to be contributing towards the Virtual Business Summit 
and I'm just going to talk for a couple of minutes about going forwards. It was a good move for the government to support businesses. What they've essentially done is to create a prop to the economy. That prop theoretically should allow most businesses that were viable to see this situation out and to come out the other side. The bounce back loan scheme is allowing a lot of cash to be applied for and fairly quickly to be pumped into the economy. The government had to bring this in. The situation with the previous loan scheme was that it was stuck, that there were an awful lot of applications being made and the banks weren't able to move quickly enough. So they had to bring this in as almost like a, a, an emergency, emergency measure, bringing in the bounce back loan scheme and underwriting the cost and the interest for year one and fully underwriting the capital element in the sense that they are guaranteeing 100% of the loans. MJ Biavanti can help clients mainly from the perspective of ensuring that they do secure all of the funding and the help that they can get from the government that they currently can get and that I expect that the government will not be able to just leave businesses to it. They will have to bring out new incentives, new schemes, possibly new deferrals to ensure that the short term support that they've provided to businesses continues into the medium and the long term. There's almost been a revolution happening over the last couple of years in respect of cloud accounting, digitalization. The government moved businesses on to making tax digital a few years ago. And many service businesses especially will have found the transition of more of their staff working from home. They'll have found that less painful than they might have done five years ago. Generally speaking, the COVID-19 situation will have accelerated change with certain sectors of the economy. Going forward, yes, I do expect there to be some quite large changes in certain sectors and in the way some businesses operate. But where MJB Avanti will help those businesses is mainly in kind of standing side by side with them to ensure that their financial structure is robust, it's reviewed regularly, that their cost structure is reviewed, and that we assist them with those operating and financial decisions that they're going to have to make to ensure that they not only survive the next three to six months, but they survive into next year and beyond. Obviously, I'm working from home. I'm a mom, I've got dogs. There's all these things you have to consider that are different to working in an office. It's most important to treat it as a regular work day. I think it's easy, particularly when it's fresh and new as a full-time thing, to think, oh, I'll get up and I'll sit at my desk in my pyjamas. One of the most important things for anyone working from home is the three R's. Routine, routine and routine. For me personally, it's about getting up, getting dressed, putting your makeup on, feeling a part of being at the office. Obviously the facility of things like Microsoft Teams and other elements like that mean that we can keep in touch throughout the day so you can still communicate with your colleagues as if you are in the office. What we've done is to instigate daily meetings with the team in London, our team in Colombo, Sri Lanka and also our team in Ipswich. Technology allows us to work from home our phone lines have been diverted, so our receptions are still answering them. The calls can still be put through to their accountant. I think the main tip that I've given to my employees is just to ensure that they've got some kind of dedicated workspace. The days themselves, in the beginning, I think it was hard for my daughter to understand that mummy was at work when she's at home. So she would wander into the office in the middle of a Zoom meeting and want to say hello to everyone on the screen. So, you know, I've had to be very quick to, to mute the mic when she's been around. OK, thanks for watching this MJB Avanti video talk. I hope you found the information useful. If you've got any questions for me or the team, don't hesitate to ask. There'll be an opportunity to do so soon. And I hope you found the whole virtual business summit really useful to you and your business.